When 10-year-old Zach, who has cerebral palsy and epilepsy, took part in a sponsored walk, little did he know among the messages of support sent on social media were hate messages containing flashing images intended to harm him. People started attacking our fundraising tweets with flashing gifts, trying to incite people with photosensitive epilepsy to have a seizure. Over 24 hours, the trolls sent hundreds of malicious flashing images to the Epilepsy Society's Twitter page. And while Zach does not have photosensitive epilepsy, three people who do saw them and had seizures as a result. Trying to target an eight-year-old boy with epilepsy, to me, yeah, I was heartbroken. There were a lot of tears and a lot of anger. Considering that I was doing it for a good cause. You were doing it for a good cause. What? Why did they do it? That was our the danger when you're scrolling through your mobile phone is that a strobing, flashing image like the one on this screen at the moment can appear. Now, for me, it's not pleasant to look at, it's disorientating. But if you have photosensitive epilepsy, it can immediately trigger a seizure. The Epilepsy Society, Zach and his family, have been campaigning for the government to recognise this type of abuse in its new online safety bill. They deliberately set out to cause harm to people with epilepsy. It, it could not be more cruel and unkind in its intention. And that's why we are so delighted that the Law Commission has recommended this new offence. Twitter has now banned a number of key search terms and said, we support the work of the Epilepsy Society and will continue to work with them to further develop ways to respond to these threats. Zach thinks the trolls should face a fine or a prison sentence. I want them to make sure that they have a fine or a sentence to prison because... We need to hold people accountable, don't yeah. we? Campaigners now hope Zach's Law, as they call it, will do just that and make the internet a safer place for everyone with epilepsy. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Huddersfield.